Another big story today involves uh, the largest political corruption case in southern Nevada history. Yeah, we've had a bu busy day here. This was a big one. The, uh, the scheme focused on seizing control of local homeowner associations and involved dozens of co-conspirators, including lawyers, retired police officers, and others. It's a story we first broke back in 2008. You know, Las Vegas has seen a lot of political corruption cases, but never something this big. Forty defendants were sentenced. Most of them pled guilty. Leon Benzer, the ringleader, was the last to be sentenced and today in the front row of the courtroom were the two investigators who started the ball rolling a metro detective and a former FBI agent they wanted to be there for the end thank you for your time thanks a lot appreciate you Leon Benzer hey, doesn't like look like an organized crime radio, boss but yeah, he yeah, was yeah. the principal target of operation radio. mastermind in the name given to the multi-agency investigation that began 11 years ago the Benzer who appeared in federal court Friday morning is a changed man his hair now thin and gray after spending the last three years in prison awaiting resentencing as the I team first reported a decade ago Benzer's ambitious scheme involved devious plot to take over the management of nearly a dozen homeowner associations, including Vistania, one of the largest. Elections were rigged. Thugs were hired to intimidate residents. And once an HOA was under Benzer's control, lucrative construction defects lawsuits were filed. But millions of dollars in settlements went to Benzer's criminal organization, which included several well known attorneys, at least four former police officers, and dozens of others, some of whom had strong political connections. A total of 40 people were convicted or pled guilty. The original theory of the case was that I was trying to apparently commit. Suicide. Four so suspects that, um, committed suicide before trial, including case. prominent attorney Benzer Nancy Kwan, we, who specialized in construction so defects lawsuits. Benzer pled guilty in 2015, but appealed his sentence. Today, federal judge James Mahan heard a sobbing Benzer apologize for his misdeeds and heard an emotional plea on video from Benzer's struggling wife and children. But prosecutors reminded the court of the thousands of homeowners who were victimized, many of them frail, elderly, and now destitute. Hey, 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 Benzer hey, hey, will have to serve 12 more years in prison and is um, responsible for millions Nancy. of dollars I in do. restitution, money that I likely do. will never be repaid. Uh, and then the other as big as this was, with 40 defendants, the reality is there were dozens of others who could have been charged but weren't, including public officials. We don't know if those names will ever be made public, though at this point, it is too late to press charges against them. If you'd like to see some of the previous I-Team stories about Operation Mastermind, we got a few of them on our website, lasvegasnow.com. Would be nice to know who those were, though, too. I'll, I might whisper them to you. Right, also, yeah. and also, just incredible how widespread it was. 40 yes. defendants, it could have been more. It was brazen, big and brazen. Brazen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, George.